Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? Everybody's had a good weekend and got a good start to your week. I think uh, I'm going to do this 16 personalities test. Uh, see how this goes. Um, I've done some of these tests before. I think it's just another version of the, the um, Briggs-Myers. Is it Briggs-Myers or Myers-Briggs? That one. <laughs> Uh, Briggs Myers test. Um, I've done some other versions of those and it always comes out the same. So at least I feel like the different versions of the test are all fairly consistent. So let's see. Let's see what this one gives me. Take the test. Okay. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. No, I do not. I have to disagree with that one. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Yeah, I, I daydream a lot. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Uh, no, I, I generally, I'm not like super planned but I, I have a list of how it's gonna go if I'm if I'm taking a trip I have a pretty pretty detailed not really a detailed agenda but I know what I'm gonna do you often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place oh yeah I do that all the time all the time if your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. Uh, uh, maybe a little bit. I'm not a really emotional person, I guess. Uh, I, so, I mean, I, I probably tend to give a little bit of support, but... I'm I'm more so likely to try to solve the problem. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be in the middle on that one. I don't disagree, but I don't agree either. People can rarely upset you. Oh yeah, it's pretty difficult to get me upset. Pretty difficult. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. Yeah, I mean, not all the time, but usually, if it's especially if it's people I don't know. If it's people I don't know, yeah. Um, I'm not very talkative, unless it tends to be on something particular that I enjoy talking about. So, I guess I agree. Often rely on other people. Sometimes. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I do that. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. Mm. Rarely worry if I made a good impression. Uh, no, I disagree with that a little bit. I, I mean, first impressions are important. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. No, it wouldn't. I'm very introverted, I guess. Uh, I definitely enjoy spending time by myself a weekend. That's nothing. That is nothing. You are more of a detail-oriented than a big picture person. Yeah, I mean, I think about the big picture, but uh, I'm definitely one for details. So yeah, I pretty much agree with that. You are very affectionate with people you care about. I guess that depends on what you consider very affectionate. If we're comparing it to people that I don't care about. Yeah, I'm 
I'm affectionate. Yeah, I'm not like aggressively affectionate, I guess, but I do show affection towards the people that I care about. So yeah, we'll go there. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so for the most part. Yeah. You are still bothered by mistakes you made a long time ago. Oh, yeah. I definitely dwell on things. I, uh, I definitely think about things long after it's even relevant anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I do definitely do that. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be in the middle of the social circle, I guess. I'm not going to be the one surrounded by people. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. Yeah. I don't relate well to people who let their emotions guide them. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Yeah, I, I tend to spend a long time looking. Not a, not like an absurd amount of time. If it takes more than like five or ten minutes, I just stop looking and do something else. But yeah, I will spend a while looking. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody's got a breaking point. But yeah, I can stay fairly calm under pressure. When in a group of people you do not know... You have no problem jumping right into their conversation. In a group of people, you do not. Oh, no, if I don't know them. No, no, I'm not jumping into anybody's conversation if I don't know them. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. I don't know about fantastical, but sometimes I have some bizarre dreams. Uh, in your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. I don't agree that it's okay to step on others. Uh, but I don't totally disagree because sometimes people are assholes and sometimes they need to be stepped on. They, they need that to put them in place. But I mean, I disagree, but not a hundred. Eh, I mean, I'm not going to go to a, all the way to the right. But yeah, I, I mean, I disagree. I don't think you should be stepping on people to get ahead. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. That's pretty true. If if I'm if I have an objective, I tend to not deviate until I get to that. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. No, I don't doubt myself. I just get upset that I made a mistake. Uh and I'll try to correct it or not do it again. Um, no, I don't doubt myself. No, I don't doubt myself. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not just going to outright walk up to somebody and introduce myself. I mean, if there's a conversation with people that I know and I start interacting with someone along those lines. Yeah, that's, that's, that's normal, but I don't you know. I don't just walk up to people and introduce myself. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. Oh no, 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 no. Those are the best conversations when they get philosophical. That's the best. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Oh, for sure. I don't cry in general, let alone in front of other people. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than a more quiet and intimate one. No, 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 no. I don't like loud, busy, crazy places. I prefer the quiet. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are good conversations. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Mm. You mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. I kind of disagree with that because I mean, your heart is what's going to guide you in the direction that you 
feel like you want to go, but your head makes sure you get there. Uh, I guess objectively, <laughs> I guess that's the word that you would use. Uh, it, 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 it makes sure you do what you need to do to get there, but your heart is definitely what's going to tell you what you want. So, I mean, I, mean, I kind of disagree with that. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. I, I mean, that could entail a whole multitude of things, but I wouldn't rule it out. I'm not... No, I mean, I could. I could do that. If it was something that I was truly concerned with or interested in. You usually prefer to get revenge rather than forgive. Uh, I'm going in the middle because I'm not huge on getting revenge, but I don't really do me wrong once and you're not going to have a second opportunity to do it. So I'm not, I'm not a big forgiver, but I'm not big on revenge either. You often make the sh decisions on a whim. Not really. Not really. Not big decisions, at least. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. Yeah, usually. Yeah, I'm pretty good at entertaining myself and keeping myself occupied. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do that all the time. All the time. You always know exactly what you want. Not always, but most of the time, mostly I know what I want. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. Oh, no, no, no. I always think about what I could have done differently. Uh, yeah, I always think about that. I don't always generally wish I had done something differently, but I do tend to think about what could have happened had I done something differently. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we're at 60%. When in a public place, you usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. For sure. Yeah, I do that. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. Mm, I kind of disagree with that. I mean, no, I, I, I definitely focus on the realities of my present, but I still think about the future sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Fully disagree with that, but I don't totally agree either. <laughs> you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Yeah, I, I do sometimes have a hard time um, understanding other people's feelings on certain things, especially if it's something I'm, I'm not easily bothered or emotional, so... And then if, if it's just something that I have never experienced yet, I mean, it, it is hard for me to understand people's feelings sometimes. And I don't tend to deal well with emotional people, I guess. Um, yeah. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Oh, yeah. I like to have a plan. I want to know what's about to happen. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you. No, 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 no. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Mm, no, nah, I kind of disagree. I mean, I'm not just going to approach somebody uh, unless I have a specific reason to. I'm not just going to walk up to them. Uh so I, I mean, I, I mean, if there's a, if I have a reason or if there's something specific that I would want to talk to them about, but I kind of disagree with that. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios all the time, all the time. Just ask my teachers in high school all the time. You look after yourself first and others come in second. Mm, I guess that depends on the situation. Uh, who is involved. Um, I kind of agree. I mean, obviously, self-preservation is key. Uh, I can't make sure the people around me are doing okay unless I'm doing okay. So 
I mean, I kind of agree, but it, again, it depends on the situation. Is my family involved? That's the biggest factor. Um, so I guess I, I kind of agree. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. No, if, if I have a if, if I have a routine, I definitely stick to my routine. Um, if I have pl particular plans for a day, um, they could be subject to change if, if I just really decide I don't want to do that. But um, for the most part, no. If I, if I have something specific that I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you really just... No, I disagree with that. Your mood can change very quickly. No, no. Not generally. I mean, if my mood changes quickly, it's because something dramatic just happened. Like something drastic just happened. Um, but I'm pretty level all the time. All the time. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't do that? You often talk about your own feelings and emotions. No, 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 no. I don't, I'm not that guy. I am not that guy. Maybe that's a bad thing, but no, not that guy. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years in the future. Um, I wouldn't say. No, no. I mean, I generally know what I'm going to do, but I don't have it planned out to a degree into years into the future. You rarely dwell on your regrets. Oh, no, I always dwell on my regrets. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm cool for a little while, but uh, eventually I need, I need to get back to the quiet. Um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm cool around large groups of people and uh, atmospheres like that for a while, but it can't be a long-term thing or an all-the-time thing. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. Uh, I guess I'm kind of in the middle. I tend to... I, th I think I'm a little bit of both. I mean, I, I'm... I'm only a realist. I, I don't. I don't ignore the realities of life. I acknowledge that there are certain things that just are, but that doesn't mean that I don't think about things that could change or things that could be different or things that I could do. So I guess I'm in the middle on that one. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. I try. <laughs> I try, but it's, I'm not going to necessarily say that it's easy. Uh, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent effort. No, I disagree with that. I'm pretty organized. Inconsistent. Why do I seem so dark? I have the lights on in here. Goodness. <laughs> Your emotions control you more than you control them. No. No, no, no. After a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just waiting. <laughs> I need the quiet. I need the quiet. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. Sometimes, maybe, but not really. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Oh, yeah, I mean, I try to be fairly considerate of, uh, of uh, the people around me. You still honor the commitments you have made, even if you have a change of heart. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. 
you rarely feel insecure. Yeah, I'm not an insecure person at all, I don't think. Oh, was that it? Yeah. INTJA. That's what I always get every time I take one of these uh, these types of tests. Um, I get the same thing. INTJA. Architect. Architect. So let's see. Definitely introverted. Uh, I am more intuitive than observant. Uh way more of a thinker than a feeler. <laughs> I'm definitely judging. Yeah, I'm I'm big on judging people. Um I'm assertive as opposed to turbulent. I guess, yeah. I guess. I've seen all of these things. Let's see. Who where does it show other INTJs? Oh, okay, here we go. Who are these other INTJs? No thanks, I don't need all that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche, Nietzsche. Michelle Obama, Elon Musk, Christopher Nolan. Vladimir Putin. Oh, that's fantastic. Arnold Schwarzenegger. My man. Colin Powell. That's good. Samantha Power. I feel like I should know who she is, but I don't know who she is. Walter White. Oh, that's the dude from Breaking Bad. I've never watched Breaking Bad. Uh, I really have not seen that show at all. Littlefinger. Well, that's fantastic. Tywin, oh, goodness. Yennefer, yes. Yennefer of Vengerberg. I like Yennefer. If you've never seen The Witcher, you should watch The Witcher. Read the books, play the games. Yennefer's pretty awesome. Gandalf. <laughs> yes. Professor Moriarty. Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Katniss Everdeen, all oh, from The Hunger Games. Seven of nine. I've never watched Star Trek Voyager. Jay Gatsby. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I'm cool with that. But yeah, like I said, it, it always gives me the uh, the same results. I, I'm always an INTJ A. So like I said, at least they're consistent. Uh, all the different tests by this one was by 16 personalities, but I've taken them by different... Um, I guess, I guess different companies, I guess. I don't know what you would call that, different groups. Um, and I, it always comes up the same. So they're consistent. At least they are consistent. And for the most part, they're they're pretty spot on. If you go through and you, you read, I mean, this is it's just so much stuff that it tells you. Strengths and weaknesses, romantic relationships, friendships. I mean, business and career. It goes through a lot of things. And it's pretty spot on. I mean, it's it's incredibly accurate. So check it out. Try yours. See what it gives you. I'm gonna post. Uh, I'll post the link in the description so you can go to this test and uh, yeah, comment back and let me know what you come up with. See what uh, see what kind of results you get. But I am consistently and always an INTJ A. Well. Take your test and see what you got. All right, guys, have a good one.